Hold on, I gotta get the character. Gang character. <laughs> The only two things I've rolled in this goddamn life. I roll tight, I roll cold. <laughs> What is it? All data. Let me see here. It said all data, not your data. No, but let me show people my secrets. <laughs> Go crazy. That's terrible. Yo, show them how you eat a popsicle. I'm not gonna show how to eat shit. Wait, he's melting. That's how we eat popsicles out here. Yeah, in the hood of Bethany. <laughs> Glow clubs. No, um, you guys know this truck has been here for a while. It came here for a no start, no run condition. Someone, no names. Them kids from Trumbull. Oh, and by the way, you're fired. Frankly. I don't know their name. I'd say it. I know one's called Bean. <laughs> Whoever Bean the is. The fuck was <laughs> attempted to um, put a gas tank in this. No, put a sending unit in. Upon that, they broke the gas tank, broke a fuel line, broke a brake line. I got called in. I tried starting it. I couldn't get air out the system. I had it towed to the shop. And it turned into a project. First thing. We needed a gas tank, we needed a new sending unit in the gas tank, we needed a new fuel line. So I got all that stuff. The problem why I sat here for so long, apparently, I'm only putting only in parts, but apparently you can't get a gas tank overnight in. It took like two months. What? No, not two months. I'm over exaggerating. It took like a month. It was like a month because it came from Minnesota. Yeah. They only or Wisconsin. Found one. No, it came from Minnesota. Yeah. And they only found one in the U.S. for a diesel, which is stupid. Well, uh, also, he had a, um, I forget the name of his lift, lift pump, but he has a performance one. And um, they converted the line, so I just had to call the company. They had to send me a whole another line kit. Because so they didn't want to use regular hoses, because those lines are ready for 300 PSI. I don't want to fuck around and find out by using a regular hose. So um, we did that, and I had to make a whole new brake line because they messed up the brake line. So luckily on this truck, the ABS pump is in the middle. So from the middle of the truck to the rear, um line whole new copper nickel line if you know me you know i love doing brake lines i hate it, but i'm really good at them um and then now we're going to do the glow plugs and it turned into a project because i did all that with the fuel system the brake line blood the brakes bg brake flush machine we're a bg dealer don't forget it dot four only if you know you know now I'm gonna do the glow plugs on it because he knows he needed to do glow plugs anyway and the truck starts right up. It starts faster than the gas car. I'll be damned. And I ain't, I ain't a diesel tech. I guess I am now, but I ain't a diesel tech. Then after the glow plugs, you're doing all aesthetics. So if you turn over there, Frankie. Friday, we'll be dropping another video. We're doing a two for one this week on the sound system that I'm gonna be installing on this truck. We're doing two amps, door speakers, sub box, two subs, Apple CarPlay radio, backup camera. You see, you zoom in nice. The old sound system that I had wired up, I thought I had to hit it. Look, hit me. That's how the maneuver on the shot is. That's the maneuver. It's a nigga feeder. You know, I get, I get shit spits. Um, this was the old sound system I put on this older gas. 1500, he ripped this out and sold one of the amps on me. 
telling people to buy the merch, not talking shit. I gotta shit. tell the story. I gotta tell the story. After right. two months, you know, yeah. finally we got the merch, all colors, all sizes, and all flavors. Um, but yeah, after, after like two months complaining to my merch guy, we finally released merch. It's on the website. You can scan the QR code. If you ever see any of us with the shirts, you can scan the QR code. It brings up our link tree. You go to the website, you can order one. They're made to order. We put in an order every Friday, depending what's on the website and what anybody else in the shop wants. I bet you I could do all these, but I already do. I bet you I could do all these without looking. It's just like when I try to find the hole. Aha! Said the blind man. I think that's what. Fuck, I missed one. It's a mental breakdown. On the engine block, I'm saying. Oh, it's right over the exhaust headers. Okay. Remember your ex day? It's moving day. <laughs> Are you going straight to the glow plug right now? Yeah. Oh, shit. That's what you don't even have to remove nothing other than just the trim pieces? I showed it. God damn it, this shit keep playing mind games with me. It getting loose and I'm like, oh, I can spit it out by hand. The nut, the nut is an eight. You're just breaking loose. You gotta be careful. Don't put too much tension on it. Then it's weird enough to take the actual low plug out. It's a 12 and it's an American car. It's normally 10, 13, 15. Is this like one of those I don't suggest power tools thing? Yeah. This is one of the things that like... Take your, take your time? Yeah. Go by hand? Yeah. It's like, it's like pretty much like doing a spark plug on a car. You wouldn't, you wouldn't put an impact on a spark plug. Oh, I've never done that. I hope you don't. You have? Why are you always breaking shit? That, it smells like piss, but that's it. And then, you throw this one on the ground. And then you get your new one. OEM, GM part number on it. I don't know if they can see it, but GM. Wait, I, you don't use aftermarket? Not here. I would use aftermarket everything. Nope. Save the customer some money. Mm -hmm, nope. I saved the customer the trip from coming back. That's why I use OEM parts. Find the hole. I mean, I always struggle with, the, with you know, find the hole. So you got to give me a couple. But you find the hole. You put it in the hole. And then you start screwing. <laughs> you gotta admit that was that was corny, but it was good. You know what? I hate you. Like that's crazy. Be like, oh, oh okay, okay, so. <laughs> Is there one like particularly hard to get to? Yeah, this one right here. Because the fuel line is in the way. The aftermarket fuel line they put in is in the way. Oh, who put that aftermarket fuel line in? Not me. Oh, I thought it was you. That's why I said it. <sighs> Fuck. I took all, all, all my energy. To go under the car? Yeah, because my gut was in the way, so I had like... Tighten my cord a little bit. I'm fat, nigga. I tried telling you guys this because the steering wheel is in the way. What's right in the way? The steering wheel. Uh. He wants to know if you're replacing the nuts huh? on the glow plugs. What? He wants to know if you're replacing the nuts on the glow plug. Who? Rob. No. Why would I? Because the nuts, they're clean, like they were rusty or whatever. I kind of want to put a story like, I'm done. And I'm still smiling. I'm still standing better than I never did.
<laughs> Were we singing the same song? Tips, tricks, anything special on this job, wrap it, was, it up. It was pretty much straightforward. I mean, you undo the fender liners and use quarter inch for everything, do everything by hand. Uh, I wouldn't see you line put an impact on any of the stuff. It's an 8 mil bolt to do the power cable to it, and it's a 12 mil for the actual low plug. But don't use power tools, take the time. The fender liners, you need. Obviously, it has clips, so you're going to need some kind of upholstery tool to take it out. But this is actually really straightforward. I thought it was going to be more of a nightmare, stuff was going to be rusted, but it wasn't, to my surprise. So on this episode, I'm a diesel tech. Right, Frankie? So dark in here. I'm a diesel tech. Do I look black? Do I look dark? You got black shirt on. Look how fast! I have a harder time trying to keep the steering wheel straight. Show them what? You gotta show them what you look like right now. You look like a whole like the fucking camp counselor. I look like camp counselor Frank. <laughs> but motherfucker! But I look like I'd be really mean to the kids. I'd be like, you! You can't go on the deep end of the pool! Okay, so just so you guys know, uh the Emily he was talking about, she is very famous. So I'm gonna ask my girlfriend if I could if I could hit her up to manage her famous site. Because I'm assuming that'd be good money. So I'm gonna ask for permission if I could just record with my camera. Raph, that's a good idea, right? No. That's money. No, that does not sound like good. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't be in it. I, that sounds like a whole I wouldn't be in it. I'd I'd that like just go, record, edit, get in, get out, that's and it. give some feedback. Get in, get in, get out, and give feedback. That sounded so Horrible. Horrible. Yeah, don't don't report. Like, don't don't I think I think Kelsey would be fine with this. Kelsey would not be fine. I'm telling you, I'm speaking to you. You know one time I got offered a job to tell models how to pose at a lingerie shoot that I went to? <laughs>